and introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 70.9 kilograms and trained under Eugene Behrman out of City Kickboxing in Auckland, New Zealand. With a professional record of six wins for just two defeats, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Trouble Bruin! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.8 kilograms and trains under Adam Sorensen at a Stockade Training Center. With a professional record of five wins for just one defeat, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, make some noise for Blake Donnelly! Eternal lightweight division, round one is underway. It's in your eighth and cage side. For the final time this evening with Kyle Noak and King Casey O'Neill, it all comes down to this. It's going to be hard to be the best fight of this weekend because we've had some amazing fights, but both men are so good in their professional MMA careers. I'm expecting big things from this fight. I was super excited to have it move to five rounds. I expected to go the full five and be exciting the whole way through. Stiff jab early for Blake Donnelly. Carl, you alluded to that in our build-up for this matchup. Once again, this matchup proudly presented by proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. But it's the boxing of Donnelly that he will rely on, especially early in this match. Yeah, Blake has great boxing. You see on display here, he's using that jab, setting it up, double jab. It's going to open him later on to land that right hand. The jab's probably one of the most underutilized weapons in mixed martial arts, but we've seen it more and more. Yeah, that jab is coming out so fast for Blake Donnelly there. So quick. That's that high-level boxing skill that he has. John lands an uppercut there in the exchange. A yeah, beautiful uppercut landed for Bruin. You can see the tension on both guys' faces. You know, they know what the other one is bringing to the table. And any shot from these guys, it could be lights out. With such high stakes, especially at this level, both men incredibly experienced, both still young, coming into the prime of their careers, overhand right lands for Bruin. And Blake's got to be careful to, to not go to the well too much on that jab, you know. You've seen Josh coming over top of it there, he's starting to tighten it. As I say that, a great combination for Blake as well. <laughs> Blake mentioned that four fight win streak for Blake Donnelly before Dimps Kelly said, I've got something to say about that. He's coming off a win against Roy Armistead. He's back in the eternal cage, putting the pressure here on John Bruin in the early stages of round one. That, that lead hand for Blake Donnelly is so active. He's landing one, two, one, two, over and over again. So he's super sharp and quick with that lead hand. I'm doing a good job though attacking that front leg. The more he can take that front leg away, the less success that Blake will have with that jab. Oh, oh, the oh, oh, from Donnelly. That catches the attention of Bruin. Massive right hand from Blake Donnelly. I was just going to say, it's uh, John Bruin that's actually leading with that right hand, but he ain't won from Donnelly for good measure. But he continues to stalk and walk down Donnelly. Inside leg kick lands heavy. Oh. Hook on the end of that combination. Blake is being really great with this combination tonight. He's going head, body, he's keeping Josh Bruin guessing. He has no idea where the next punch is landing. And he's landing and connecting hard with the last punch of each combination so far. Oh, massive knee. Big knee from Donnelly. He's starting to mix things up now. Bruin says that's enough, engages a clinch here, Kyle. Yeah, great decision by John to push this fight to the cage and try and slow down Blake's momentum here. Blake was having a lot of success, especially with that left hook at the end of each combination there. So I'm not surprised that John pushed him against the cage here to, to try and get taken advantage. You see the battle for the head control from Josh Bruin there. He's on the leg. Blake doing a good job of defense right now. Getting that under hook, trying to lift his level up. He's also landing strikes, isn't he? While he's up against the fence. Offense sometimes is the best form of defense. Oh, 
of scramble here from Totally Bruin. Doing well, that's a knee of his own there. That was a really nice set out from Blake. He's got to feel good there, you know. Having the better, better of it on the feet right now and managed to have the better of it in the wrestling exchange as well. Yeah, it's going to be a more constant. If he knows it goes to the ground and he can get back up and then hit that striking again, it's going to be, he's going to see his confidence sore in this fight. Don't cut John Bruin out. Oh, most definitely not. And, uh... His nickname's Trouble for a reason. He can give trouble to anyone. Absolutely. Well, 10 seconds left in round number one. Donnelly continues to press the action. Fight pass. Round two underway. Blake wasted no time again coming out with that jab. Double pop on that jab. Stick it right in John's face. Oh, that's amazing. Beautiful. Oh. Right there. John's doing the right thing. He's chopping away at that leg there. The more he can chop away at that leg, the less that Blake's going to be able to use that jab. Money in the bank, isn't it? And uh, the low calf kick, nonetheless, down goes Bruin. Beautiful double leg, last double there. He timed that one perfectly. I don't know the hands and got him down, but Josh is doing the right thing here. You know, he's got both hands free. He's pushing himself up to the fence for him to, to wall walk here. Blake is trying to climb his body, though, at the same time, he's still got that body lock. He's no stranger to this, is John. Plenty of uh, Sunday spider sessions at City Kickboxing. Have him ready for this. But oh, it's Bruin oh. who's taken the net immediately. Trouble continues to fight, and now he's in a better position. Pressing the action. He's got a body lock there, Carl. Fingers laced. He did, and, and Blake did well to jump on that rear naked choke. It slipped off a little bit, didn't have his hooks in, so it made it hard for him to hold on to that rear naked choke. He can finish that rear naked choke without the hooks, but the hooks just stopped him from securing his body position. So you see John now, he's trying to work his way to take the back. You know, a mistake from Blake there, and Josh ends up, uh, John, sorry, ends up in a great position, but he gets reversed there. Nicely done by Blake, staying patient and working a way to get on top again. Oh, and massive elbows! When he gets going, he is vicious with his strikes. He is throwing with very bad intentions every possible chance that he has. Yeah, absolutely, and it's that constant pressure, that constant aggression from Bra from Blake Donnelly. Beautiful he saw in his step. last fight with uh, Roy Armistead. Roy just had no answers for Donnelly, and he's proving to be a tough customer for John Bruin here. He wraps up a dust choke now. He needs to get that hand a little higher up on to, to the opposite shoulder and have that dust choke a lot tighter. Right now, he's, it, it's tight, but it's not super tight. We were doing a good job of defending quite well thus far. But Donnelly, he's committing everything to this one here. It doesn't look like he has the angle to be able to finish it, and he is squeezing hard. This, you know, if he doesn't get this, it could end up gassing out his arms. So I would like to see him let go and try and advance position and work back up to his feet. Let's wait and see. This is a heavy Boy, squeeze for a yeah. long time. He was really going for it, and that's got to be taxing on the arms of Donnelly. John Bruin, as tough as they come. Yeah, Blake will have a lactic acid build up in his arms now, and it takes Sap a lot of energy out of him. He has to remember he's also in for a five round fight now. Their fight's going from a three round fight to a five round fight. Correct. So energy conservation is going to be key in this fight. Good scramble to end up back on the um, offensive side here, trying to suck the legs out from the cage of Bruin. He's got the leg laced. What's that position called again? It's the Dagestani Mermaid. The Dagestani <laughs> Mermaid, there it is. <laughs> it's just such a dominant position, you know, especially if you can manage to get just above those knees and keep that triangle super tight. There's no chance of getting up without your legs, so take away the legs, you know, there's no working up, you're stuck. Indeed. 
Well, I've heard of the Dagestani handcuff for the first time here at Eternal. The Dagestani mermaid is born. And it's Donnelly continuing to work John Bruin up against the fence. And John Bruin looking for a triangle there. He's got that arm isolated if he can step that foot over. So can't. Blake well aware of it. Step ahead of him as he climbs up on the back now. This is a bad position for John. This is where we saw Blake earlier almost finishing before. I have to correct us again. It's only a three round fight, guys. So three, three round main event here tonight. And our main event. I'm starting to steal Tanera's job as well. <laughs> and final round here in our main event. They touch gloves, and here we go. Five minutes left here at Eternal 70. Blake still looks sharp in the third round as he did in the first round with those hands. Oh, huge shots. And right above us, you can hear how much power is behind that shot. Yeah, Landed that, for Donnelly. That was massive. I really like how Blake's punches just come straight through perfectly. You know, there's no tail with his elbows. They're just going straight and fast. And every single one that he lands is hard and stopping John Bruin in his tracks. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what John mixes up and changes in his game plan to to win this fight. I'm sure with Eugene in his corner, they'll come up with a great plan and they have room to change. Let's just see if he can implement it and take control of this fight. Again with that calf kick. Oh. And he goes high. Nice body kick there. That one landed flush to the body casing. You know, it hasn't been going his way yet so far, but he's not giving up on himself. He's starting to land some good shots here in the third. This is not where John wants to be. He's back in the grapple again, putting back down on the ground. Blake doing a great job of controlling this fight. Any time that John seems to get off a few shots and starts to feel good and look good in the, in the striking, Blake shoots for a takedown. I mean, it's great fight IQ. You've got to keep them guessing, you know. He, he starts to gain some success on the feet and he takes away that momentum and takes it down. He gets swept on the feet, uh, swept on the ground, sorry, or uh, he's managed to build back up and he just takes over again with that clean boxing on the outside. Absolutely. Blake doing everything right in this fight so far. Blake Donnelly, he reefed Bruin off the cage. He's landing some big elbows there. None of them are creeping through the guard of John Bruin. He goes with that choke again. Has been there for him. Can he get the bite this time? Can we see him walk that hand up a lot higher this time? That's going to be a lot tighter choke. John doing a great job, though. Putting his belly on the ground. Not getting his shoulder caught in there. Incredible defense by Bruin. We made a lot of noise about the boxing of Blake Donnelly, but this grappling, I'll tell you what, He's looking very good when it comes to the grappling exchanges on the ground. Bruin doing the right thing once again, getting his back to the fence, but Blake is just all over him tonight. The grappling has been suffocating. Oh. Punishing elbows and punishing knees to the leg. He is nasty. When he can get off hard shots, he takes it. Eugene Behrman imploring John Bruin to move. He's got to get off the cage. Place on a nice, tight, low body lock here. If he can step in and get hip to hip with him, he'll be able to pick him up and slam him. That was John. great takedown defense there by John, though. Managed to get those those arms up above his butt, stop the threat of the takedown, and get the hands unlocked. Yeah, testament to the, uh, the fight IQ and the experience of John Bruin here. Then again, Casey, Blake's got that head in the right position every time. He doesn't put his body out of, in a bad position at all. Yeah, he is just landing at well with those knees. Every time he can get one off, he lands them. That body work has been amazing from Blake tonight. He is not, he's not uh, 
been just head hunting, you know. We've seen him go everywhere, we've seen him grapple. He's showing a really, really, really well rounded game of MMA tonight in this main event. And as I said, with a win over David Martinez already, you've got to think that he is moving up these lightweight rankings and close to contending for that belt the next time it's fought for. That's the reward, isn't it, Casey? Both men. <laughs> I think I just got a hello from Blake <laughs> just then. They're both hunting that uh, eternal lightweight strap. No one's been able to hold it for longer than two fights. <laughs> he's talking to us here, you know, Quite he's totally. so comfortable tonight. He's been showing a great game. He's in the full mount now too. This is a great position for Blake. Full mount for Tom oh. and he's starting to open up now. But that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this fight 30-27 for your winner via unanimous decision in the red corner, Blake Donnelly.